everybody. I am on my way back to a location I shot before with the Phantom 4. This is Billy Tripp's Minefield. It's a sculpture that this guy, Billy Tripp, made himself on his own time with his collected materials from around the state. This is in Brownsville, Tennessee. And I'm bringing you back there to demonstrate the camera on the new Phantom 4 Pro. It is absolutely incredible. 20 megapixels, mechanical shutter, and it even came with a car battery charger. So you can charge them in the car. Very handy. Hey, uh, quick side note. I have dash cams in my car like this and I just caught something that was pretty incredible. A hawk swooped down in front of my car and picked up a mouse that was running on the side of the road and I got it. I got it here. I'll show it to you right now. Here it is again in slow motion. <laughs> Wasn't that awesome? Uh, dash cams aren't just for wrecks. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Here we are. Billy Tripp's Minefield. Brownsville, Tennessee. There's a diner next door called the Minefield Grill. And there's a nice lady in there trying to get a hold of Billy. Um, I didn't call ahead because he doesn't have a phone apparently but his wife does. So anyway, we're trying to work that out. But in the meantime, I'll get some aerial footage for you of this crazy, crazy sculpture. I found Billy Tripp. How you doing, man? Oh, I'm wonderful. Yeah, it's good, good to see you. It's a perfect day, isn't it? Just a wonderful, great day. It is. And uh, Billy was nice enough to allow me to strap a GoPro on his chest, and he's going to do a little climbing, right? That's right. Okay. Yeah. Well, good luck, sir.
thank you so much for talking with me. It's good to have you here. You just climbed, how many feet up was that that you just climbed? Probably uh, about 120, maybe. And you don't have any kind of vertigo or? No, no. For, <laughs> the first time up something new, right. I'm aware of it. But once I get comfortable with where to step, up, I'm okay. <laughs> so just give me a basic, a very quick overview. What is the story with this place? What inspired you to create this? Well, it's probably something simple. Uh, as simple as just having something to do which you like doing and I had small pieces down there where this is now on the ground <clears throat> and it was always hard to keep the grass cut around it anyway uh, at the time I had a chance to get some structural beams so I thought well I'll make a framework and then put this smaller stuff on the framework and then it, it grew from there and um, it's as time went on uh, similar to writing a book if you write a book it's an opportunity to have a dedication if you want to mm -hmm. so I thought it'd be nice to have a dedication so at that time I uh, put it in honor of mom and dad and uh, that was some years after few years after my dad had died and my mom died real early and that heart up there uh, is for my mother her mother my mother's name is underneath it the hands are my brothers and I and my dad but I didn't have a draw, drawing of my mom's hand so that heart was is for my mother right but uh, did your brother help you build this no no I did it uh, all by yourself yeah except I hired somebody to uh, dig and put the concrete in the ground for the yeah, water tank. How did tank. you get some of the, the larger things here? Because this you yeah. brought this in. Yeah, I did. Uh, well, you cut it up in pieces and I have a, a truck kind of about like that crane. You just make several trips. and. Uh, and how, how does but the, still, it's over years, you know. How does the city feel about this? I mean, Well, it, you have to understand it started small. Right. Uh, uh, and then when I when I put the initial framework up, I was actually working on it, and the uh, city building inspector came and put a stop work order on it because oh. he thought it was a building, right. which it did look like, you know. And I didn't have, of course, permits for it. There's a nice story about this. So they wanted me to come in front of the city board, and I did. And by then, the uh, building inspector knew that it wasn't a building but they wanted me to explain what i was doing which is kind of what i've been telling you i was just building uh, this framework to put this these smaller metal pieces on kind of decorated that you know so they were wondering what to do they didn't really have a ordinance or code to deal with this you know it's like hanging a wagon wheel with a pot in front of you in your front yard Mm -hmm. but a little bit bigger right, yeah, you know so bit. they were kind of going back and forth <laughs> and not knowing what to do and and then one of them one of the board members was uh, brother Powell who ran a sawmill here and he looked like he just come in out of the woods you know <laughs> <laughs> he was that type of person and finally they were going back and forth finally he said well I make a motion that we let him ramble on <laughs> and that's what they voted on is it ever going to be complete or are you going to... Well, I hope not, but I may, uh, at a certain age, retire from it. How old are you now? I'm 61. Oh, okay. So, and you just shimmied up that auger like well, it was nothing. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm okay. Yeah. Now, uh, on top of the water tower mm -hmm. is your wife's name. Mm -hmm. You were telling me earlier that a lot of people don't even know that's up there. They don't because you don't see the top from the ground. But when during the time I was putting up my tank, uh, I was keeping a journal, and I was in the journal I was dealing with my dad's death. And during all that, I met uh, Beth, and we later, several years later, we married. But uh, I was painting the tank at the time, 
and I just needed something to go on top and I thought that was a good it, it says uh, Billy it goes in a circle uh -huh. it kind of reads in a circle it says Billy on the west side and love is on the north and Beth would be on the east and then loves on the south so it's Billy loves Beth loves Billy and it just goes around like that. <laughs> so. I was like many people I just happened to be going through town and noticed it uh, what would you like people that are just passing by to know about you and the sculpture I, I don't I don't know I, I, I guess maybe to live your life in a way that it uh, honors people you care about that's fantastic and, uh, Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks to Billy Tripp for climbing this huge sculpture behind me. You know, if you come to visit here and you want to check out the sculpture, it is large, so you might have to actually crane your neck to see it. <laughs> crane. <laughs>